Hi guys, uh, this is the end product of my graphic drawing of a building. Um, I've actually used uh, all the various meta uh, graphic components. I use the linear gradient mode and also the various linear gradients as well. The various linear gradients used include the linear gradient brush, linear gradient modes, and in most cases I set some of them to horizontal, some were vertical, and some were also diagonal. So I guess you guys will enjoy it. But, uh, for the building, I've actually used uh, I use a uh, field rectangle for all this whitish color you guys can see. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different colors within the graphical development environment that you can that you can use to to develop something like this. If you if you want to create something like this and you would like to have the code, I'll be happy to forward the code to you. So let's go to the development environment uh, and you'll see the step-by-step -step, uh, implementation of this very program. Hi, this is a tutorial I've been working on since morning. Uh, what I'm just trying to do is to use the graphics. The graphical component within event driven program on uh, Visual Basic .net to develop a building environment. It's coming up but the problem is just getting the whole coordinate right. I've been missing most of the coordinate and at the same time I'm correcting it. But let me just take you into the code view so you can have a good look at the codes before I come and uh, continue work with the other part of the building I might end up maybe get some building at the back of these two building to make it look like a, um, a proper building site so let me just take you to the code view anyway see what I've been working on. So back in the code view, it's very similar to my last tutorial. And that was a thing that's called a feeding, filling in the rectangles I call that. These are the buildings, that's uh, building number one. Okay, and here are supposed to be the windows I have entered in the high rising building. These are the other little windows. I think these are the large ones, I think. Okay. For the second part of the building, the one on this other side, I think it's right down here. There it is. There it is right there. I am just about to start with the development of building number three which is what the one I'm working on here you can see the color is green so let me show it to you guys that is it right there that's the background so what I'll do now is let me just change the color so you see how it's just how it's done I'll make it black and I change the other one to maybe something dark gray Yeah, why not? Okay, you can see I'm actually using a linear gradient brush. That's the method I'm using here. Right. So with the linear gradient brush, I've actually set the linear gradient mode to forward diagonal. I changes, but uh, let me just run the program. You guys see how it is for now. So that's what I've got now. 
If you look at it, you see the background it has changed a little bit, but uh, I'm still, you know, I still have a lot of work to do on it. And I, I will transfer these four rectangles here as well. Maybe develop, create two more buildings in there. Uh, let's change the, the linear mode to maybe something uh, we have it as a forward diagonal let's change it and see what my um, let's go for vertical diagonal let's see what we have for the vertical diagonal okay that's it you can see it's up there is a dark sort of like fade down Okay, so I'm just going to go back into the code now and try to finish up uh, the third building. At the interval, I'll pop in there. Uh, at the interval, sort of like record the improvement made so far. Alright, see you guys later. Well, so far, the third background for the image, uh, I've moved it uh, close to the second uh, building. And I've started changing the coordinate of these uh, rectangles. So let me go back into the code view and I show you how those coordinates are changed. This one is uh, the coordinates I have here is 600. So let me just change that to 620 as well. And you guys see what I'm talking about. Right here, that's the that's the other one. Uh, let's go back. I'm done to already. I think there's something missing. Yep, yeah, I have that as 171. So let's change it to 70 and change it from to 70 as well. Go back into the into the code and check out one or two things. If you look at the the coordinate I've just entered, you can see they've all disappeared because. I'm actually using the same coordinates, so let me for this very rectangle right there. So let me carry out a few modifications. In the first one, that's that. The second one, let's change that. Let's add there. Uh, let's make that 170, uh, 170, 270. Let's see now. There we go, one, two, and three. I just need to get rid of this rectangle and this rectangle. I'll be looking for those rectangles later on. Okay, then let's change the color to something white. So as it looks like a rebuilding. So where are we? There they are. Uh, might as well just copy the solid, copy that and just change. Okay, that's solid anyway. I'll say dot white. That's white there. I have a white there. And I just change everything from a harsh brush to white and change this one from harsh brush to solid white as well. Run the program right now. And there we go. But uh, this, uh, I would say, the windows are a little bit too large I may have to reduce the size but I still haven't made up what I'll do so let me just fill up the other windows before the reduction starts so like I said I'll add three more windows here and let's go back into the system and get that done so what I'll do is copy this line of code, paste them right underneath there. You can see the error already because of this variable. So I'm just going to add a Z to it. Okay, add a Z to that as well. So those variables have changed now. So if you look at the graduation of each coordinate right here, so the vertical spacing is a uh, 100 each, so this one will be 370, 470, 570. So let's run the program and see. Now we have 
one, two, three more windows. So I will get rid of one, two, three, four rectangles, and uh, I'll get back to you guys soon. Hi, this is just a quick update on uh, the development of this project. So far, the third building is coming up, so I'll just get rid of all of these uh, uh, fielding uh, rectangles so that we can have a, a good view of this third building. So let me go back into the code. I think it's roughly right here. Let's see. There they are. Okay, I'll just get rid of them. Let's see. Up to you. Yeah. Let's get rid of them for now. Okay. I'll run the program and see. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's now coming up. I just need to complete this. Uh, very building and try to add more windows right here maybe a sliding in door somewhere here okay so I'll get back to you guys well there's been uh, further improvement on uh, the second building I've now added um, a paint house and here is the just like an antenna or television max whatever you like you call it yeah, I may have to change uh, change some of these uh, look of these uh, windows however I need some more with a couple of windows here and maybe one large door here or something similar to this so and uh, a bit of touch up here and also here as well so let me get back into the development environment and uh, just start my work again so far is what I've done it's been painstaking but uh, I enjoy it so I'll get back to you guys as soon as this is completed of the second the third phase is completed or the fourth phase the fourth phase just new development on the third building and uh, that's it right here let me show it to you guys can you see it? there's two lines and uh, I intend to repeat the same thing for one two and three and let's move this up a little bit let's go back into the code and uh, look for it So I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for one, two, and three. There might be a big door here anyway. Okay, let's go back into the program. Just a quick feedback of where I am right now. But so far, I only have two more to, to go. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to you guys. For now, these are these uh, project loads. Well, uh, I'm not still happy with it. I think I need to carry out more improvements, change the background here, change the door, the windows. The Let's go back to our design area. Look for the penthouse, change the color of the penthouse. Penthouse, good. And the penthouse. Now I need to change that color. I don't like them. Maybe. Let's see. Need something a little bit darker. Let's 
let's just say gray for now. I'll run it and see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's change those doors and the windows. Okay. The doors and the windows changed. So let me change this uh, design as well. It looks too dark. Well, uh, that's what I've done so far. It seems this tutorial is taking longer than expected. I'm tired. I may have to just uh, pack it up for a little while, otherwise, and uh, try to put uh, proper finishing touches to it later on. So, uh, thanks for watching. I should be back pretty very soon. So far, guys, uh, this this is the final output. So I will now try and add uh, maybe some street lights, one or two street lights, just to make it look more beautiful. So what I'll do is uh, so go back to the codes and uh, take it from there. See you a lot later. Bye. Well, uh, street lights have added uh, two timers. If you've been following my graphical tutorials, you should have uh, noticed these uh, two timers. I've used them uh, on regular occasion with the graphical tutorials. If I go back into the codes, in the first timer, as I have declared the following variables that I used in the previous tutorial, and these are the coordinates for my lampos okay the method I'm using is drawing draw lines you can see that apart from fill rectangle that's for just the lampos actually and uh, this drawing is supposed to be the the reflection of the lights so if I take you back to to the main uh, graphical drawing what you guys will see is something very similar can you see that okay these are buildings and uh, that's supposed to be the street light okay i think i'm gonna have to maybe find a way to add one or two more street light or some uh, street furnishes to make it look a little bit realistic this is the end product of my Graphical design of uh, buildings. And I suppose you all like it. So you can see a little bit of flashing there. Maybe I should just take off uh, the timer that I set. So I'll go back into the system and just get the read of the timer. Well, I guess you all like it. If you are interested in developing something like this you can just send me an email and I'll forward my I will forward the source code upon uh, your request make sure you subscribe guys I suppose uh, you guys will enjoy this type of tutorial it's all graphics all codes okay you have a nice day